Thank you for taking the time today to tune in to another episode of Dis TV, Develop, Integrate, and Sustain. Keeping it simple, my name is Jeff Lush. Today we're going to continue our discussion on thin computing and phase one of our thin computing implementation strategy here, the regional data center. So the regional data center is going to receive information from the local data centers. And we've talked about this in two other episodes uh, leading up to this one. So let's go ahead and talk about the development of the regional data center. The regional data center becomes a target for all thin computing activities. Remember in this environment we need to have data and settings and availability of the image at multiple sites. If we have a local site for example and a regional site that enables cloud computing. Cloud computing is defined as the ability to get to your data and services anytime, anywhere. Well, you can't really fulfill the true promise of a cloud computing environment if all of your resources, data, user files, and images are stored at one site. If that site becomes unavailable for whatever reason, uh, you have a problem. Now, replicating all of your users, dependent upon your user size, may not be possible either. So you need to figure out what that balance is. In this example, in phase one, we've said that 25 users out of 100, 25% of the users would be cloud-based users, meaning that their data would move from the local site and it would also be available at the secondary site so that any time that user, dependent upon load at those sites, can come into those sites and get their data and uh, get their images and still be able to work and function. So let's take a look and see what the, the, the regional data center actually looks like here. So we have here same specifications. We have support here for 25 users per site, uh, depending upon how many sites you have. Remember our specification is 15 users per core um, for this type of environment. This is primarily a VDI environment. Now, some of you may ask, well, can a user come directly into the regional data center and get their VDI information? The answer to that question is yes, it's absolutely possible. So they can come directly in here and grab their information. In addition, we've allocated 200 gigabytes of space per user for all replicated user. Again, remember, we've enabled cloud for 25% of our users, so we're going to have a considerable storage environment here, but only for 25% of our users are they being centralized. Now the centralization here is deduplication. This is backup data. So this could very possibly uh, be all of the users at every site. So remember we talked about the ability to be able to protect the user's data at the local site. So when you're collecting data and moving people into a thin computing environment, let's say there's a hundred users here, you want to make sure that their data is absolutely protected. Their data and settings. Now, if this site goes down, they may not be able to immediately gain access to their information again, but through using a backup engine like deduplication, we can replicate that data over the wire and have all of their data here at the regional data center. So if something happens to that site, all we have to do is rehydrate their data here. This is not instant, it's going to take a couple hours, but we rehydrate their data here, populate it up to the thin computing servers as well as the storage device, and now those users that were completely out and their site destroyed for whatever reason now have full access. We didn't have to pay for the host replication as far as pay in bandwidth, pay in storage space by replicating all of their data all of the time. We're just replicating their deduplicated, backed up data so that we can restore if that requirement occurs. All right, so that's pretty much how a regional data center looks like in a thin environment. Just to review, we have all the local sites here. We've defined that 25% of the local users will be put into a cloud environment, meaning their data, user settings, image, everything will be replicated to a centralized regional data center. In the event that these users, these sites become unavailable, those 25% users will have immediate access to the regional data center and be able to function just fine. For the rest of the users here at the, at the local sites, they're capturing all of their data to a backup engine, a deduplication device, which is replicating here to a centralized device. In the event of a failure, we rehydrate this data, put it here at the local site, and now those users can operate. That is truly a cloud, thin computing model.